All right, so we are out in Western Iowa and we're getting ready for this uh, race. Scott's fueling up the camper and we are going to tomorrow attempt this 10 hour race. 10 hours on a 3.6 mile looped course. We're gonna get to see the girls every 35, 40, 45 minutes. And they're gonna hook us up with some uh, Gatorades, waters, Pedialytes, some food. Never gone this far before, I think I've gone 32 is my farthest run ever, and that was just a training run. We're also gonna meet uh, Baron Davis, another one of our teaching coaching buddies. Uh, he's gonna do it. It's gonna be very interesting. We're gonna jump into the ultra running scene. Uh, the temperature is supposed to be uh, about 93 degrees, so that heat's gonna play a major factor. I've had two long practice runs where I had calf cramps on both of them. I think it had to do with sodium. It was hot both those times. It's supposed to be 93 tomorrow. So that's my biggest, could be one of our biggest obstacles. Hopefully it works out. We don't have to fight too many demons out there on the trails. What are your thoughts about this race? You ready to go? Yeah, I try not to overthink it. I, I want to run free. This would be uncharted territory, but I'm excited for the challenge. It's not something that everybody would do. There's the guys checking the route. Day before race day. Well, what do you guys think? Gonna be a climb back there. Pretty rugged trail, to be honest. Davis. Uh, Here's our third beverage. counterpart for the run tomorrow. Ready to go? <laughs> All right, here we go. It is race morning. We are getting ready to roll. There's some runners showing up. We've got about a half hour until start time. 10 hours, as many laps as we can get. So I'm just relaxing and we're getting ready to uh, run this thing. We're gonna spend about 10 hours on our feet. So hopefully we can uh, keep moving the whole time and be mentally tough here. Two, one, and you're off. And in 10 seconds, Tolly, we're about two hours in. Think they're moving too fast? What's he getting this time around? Two waters. Two waters. Two waters, a brown tube, and a salt tablet. That's it. Salt tablet. What salt tablet? Where's the brown goo? Good job, Nathan! 8.54 and there he goes. He Let's run right through the middle of that again. Top, uh, laces and loosen it up a little bit. Blue tank top. Okay. Put it in the cooler but don't get wet. Okay. Thank you. Job, Nathan. Looking good. How you feeling? Four. 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 Yeah. Yep. yep. Nice job.
comes Nate after lap four. 10.24 a.m. Still looking good. With a smile. Huh? Okay. Alright, I'll switch shoes. That might help. I'm going to take a Pedialyte and two waters with me. Pedialyte and two waters? Mm-hmm. Grab Nate. Oh. Good job, Tolly. How do you think he's doing after lap six? Looks better than lap five. I agree. Banana, you, water, Thank you. All right. Some How are you fun? feeling, Scott? Good. Yeah, keep moving forward. That's fun. Good. Davis. Uh, I don't want any. You don't want to mine, I got a full charge. I'm not in need anymore. What? It's charger. I don't know. I, I don't think it's, it's a charger. I think it's the watch. I think it's the watch. Looking good, Nathan. Got some, got some correcting poles. These things have helped quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I feel better. Good. Yeah, I think it's from all the stuff you're taking. Have to deal with it, I think. Yep. Just cool your body off a little bit with it. Oh. Is there any ice in that cooler, baby? God's still about the same. About a mile back. How yeah. long does it take for him to get here? Uh, about. Uh, about an hour. Okay, I gotta go, honey. Good job, Baron. Right at a 501 finish. Nine laps. Woohoo! Woo! Our winner. Great, great, good work. That back loop got like tough too. That was my favorite part. It was? Yeah. Really? It's, like a, it's not steep, but it's a climb out of there. It's tough. That's why it's your favorite, right? <laughs> no, the toughest one is the ready climb. I had no intention of ever doing another lap. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Tali was like, wow. And congrats, guys. Good work. Thank you. Good work. Good work. <laughs> Give us the opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for awesome. coming. Thanks, guys. No, Amber told me this old guy took off. Right with me, that old guy. Wow. He passed me, you know, earlier. Well, I pushed really hard that second to last lap. Yeah, we know. Good timing. Yeah, he cut off like 10 minutes. Scott. Was that number 12? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I cut it short. Yeah, I didn't do the, the only one. 11 and a half. Yeah. yeah, 11 and a half. Expecting. They're just walking like that. All right, so we're back at the campground and we're moving around a bit slowly. I felt really good for a while, but I probably ran for seven hours with like cramping calves and hamstrings. I could still hike pretty good though, so kept moving. Scott got second overall and neither of us got like our goal of 50 miles or 52 miles, but uh, 
We faced, we played, we were at one, two in the race overall, so. Yeah, it felt good. I felt, enjoyed most of it. There was a moment there where you, you kind of reevaluate and what's the next best thing. And for me, that was 40 miles and mm -hmm. you know, finishing hard, you know, second place is kind of icing on the cake for me. It was a fun experience. I look forward to more some of these um, challenges, you know, um, in the future. The girls told me Scott was behind me with one lap to go or like time for one lap. So I like busted it really hard and ran a super fast lap. But then I actually went out for one more lap because I thought he was like right close and uh, he timed out. So once I found out that he didn't start the lap, I was just going to walk. But yeah, so basically we both got 11 laps officially, which is like 40 some miles. I don't know, but it was it was tough. It was a good test. All right, we're on our way home, traveling back across the state. 10 hours, just constantly moving forward. Didn't get it quite as far as we wanted to, but the results were, we can, we can take some good things away from it. it. Took a lot of mental toughness just to keep moving forward when you're tired, so that's good to know. It's good to test yourself sometimes. The train was harder than we expected. There were sections where you were going up a washout, up a pretty steep pitch, and it was not runnable, but the hike itself was just as bad. Your heart rate was up, and you had to grab roots to make the climb, I guess. It was tough. It was a tough challenge, but it was. I enjoyed it. Overall, good experience. It was, I guess, fulfilling or gratifying at that point. We got the real heroes back here. These girls, every time we came through the uh, exchange zone back to our base camp, they were hustling around getting us whatever we demanded at the time. What do you think about the whole deal, Amber? Good experience, <laughs> even for the crew. It was a fun day. Kind of fun, like almost like a team effort where uh, with the girls and Davis and Scott and how we were all kind of, it wasn't just you out there running, there was kind of a crew and made it kind of fun that way. I just want to talk a little bit about the, the training it, it took to get ready for an event like this. Really focused on my beard. I started in March. I uh, didn't trim it, and, and I liken it to the, the training, right? You don't grow a beautiful beard like this in a day, right? It takes time. It takes patience. You think about all the training, all the beard growing that you've done over the last four or five months uh, to get it to, to where it is today, which is, is beautiful. Um, the wife, I'm not sure, agrees 100% with the, that verdict. But like I said, it's not easy to grow a beard like this, you know, and it's not easy to run 10 hours. Any rebuttal on the beard? Cut that out of the video. <laughs> Do you uh, think it actually did help him a little bit? No, it probably slowed him down. <laughs> He's shaving his head instead. Yeah.